What makes you hate yourself? Is it the red shoes? What? Is it the red shoes? Uh, no. Are you sure? Because they're fucking red. <laughs> Don't you be smiling like that. You'll fuck everything up. You've been so hard on yourself. I love that you have such high standards. But those aren't high standards. That's called perfection. And most people overestimate what they can do in a year. And they underestimate what they can do in two or three decades. And you haven't been around long enough to have those extra two or three decades. So don't fuck it up. There's time. And if you're a little more loving to yourself, I think you're going to find you got a lot to give. Before we begin, I want to start off by giving our praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua, by Hashem Kakurash. Double honor to the orders and apostles of Great Muslim Peace and Citations unto the elect. So today's lesson is going to be on, um, it's going to be on the, uh, it's <coughs> lucky. <coughs> you know, today's lesson is going to be on, um, uh, the clip you seen in the beginning, okay. Uh, pretty much the clip that's in the beginning is uh, <clears throat> it's you know somebody who's who's condemning himself, always condemning himself, you know. Uh, and you know there's this guy talking to him, and he's like, you know, stop having so high standards on yourself, you know, as perfection. Okay, because right now we are not perfect. <clears throat> All right, we are, we are far from perfect, and um, you know, the Lord knows that. Okay, this is Romans eight and one. There is therefore no now no con- condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach, that was I, who walk not after the flesh, but in the spirit. Also, if you truly believe of Yahweh Shemashai, and you walk with Yahweh Shemashai. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna be, um, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna understand that we're gonna fall short of the glory, but we're gonna fall short of the glory, and, um, you know, it is what it is, all right? But we're in the flesh, you know, the fleshy things, uh, fleshy things, um, you know, tempt us, all right? Whether it be, you know, this, would it be that, would it be, you know, whatever. We're in the flesh. None of us are perfect. I wouldn't expect you, Akim, to be perfect. You know, your brothers out there wouldn't expect you to be perfect. And would expect sisters to be perfect. But we do expect for us to try our best, all right? We try our best, all right? And this goes for the Akim and Aqua out there, for you brothers and sisters out there, okay? You know, don't be so hard on yourself. All right, do not be so hard on yourself. You you gain nothing by being so hard on yourself. You gain zero thing, nothing. Only thing you can gain from being hard on yourself is, uh, quite honestly, stress, depression. You know this. This is the fight you can get. You know, as long as you're trying your best. You know, as long as you're sincerely trying your best, you're sincerely in the truth. You know. You're good. Okay. So, um, this is John 3 and 17. For Yahweh sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might, him, through him, might be saved. And it's talking about the world of Israel. Okay. So, you know, if we were already perfect, if we never made a mistake, why would you have a common reason to come down here? Why would you have a reason to come down here? He wouldn't. But guess what? We're not perfect. We fall to the flesh. We do fleshly things, you know. And it's it's, it's you know it's okay to fuck up sometimes, you know. 
But you have to understand that you have to have a mindset to where you're okay. I messed up, but it's time to move on. Put one foot in front of the other. You know, when you're getting hit, when you're getting hit hard, call it what you know, say, and whatever it is, man. Whatever it is, it's a loss of a loved one. You know, it's a, whatever it is, call it what you know, say. You know, we 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 you know. We all have fallen short of the glory. All right. You know, whether it be, you know, you, you, you smoked weed when you weren't supposed to. Whether it be, you know, you, you had sex on the Sabbath. You know, whether it be you, you bought something on the Sabbath. You know, whether it be you did something. Let's, you know, acknowledge your faults. Acknowledge what you did was wrong. And keep it pushing. Strive to be a better person. You gain nothing, absolutely zero things, from holding on to it. Let it go. Just, just let it go, you know. Just like grudges. When you hold on to, you know, when a brother, let's say a brother accidentally did something to you, or someone accidentally did something to you, and they apologize and they sincerely mean it, forgive them. You have no no thing to, to, um, to hold grudges for now. Don't take it the wrong way. You know, these Edomites, they don't regret shit. <laughs> so, you know, of course, we're going to get our get back with these Edomites. You know, we're we're, we're going we're gonna to get our, you know, sweet revenge, sweet vengeance, you know, but that's going to be Yahweh Shai. Ultimately, it's Yahweh Shai's glory. Yahweh Shai's glory. All right. But. Right now I'm talking about, you know, don't, don't, don't hold yourself, don't, you know, don't keep yourself down when you need to get back up. You know, this is, um, oh, let me see, uh, This is First John 1 and 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us of from all unrighteousness. You fucked up. Just get up. Keep it pushing. Salaki Keep it pushing. Alright. Don't matter, you know. Just keep it rolling. No, right now we're not. We can't be, you know, so hard on ourselves when it's already hard enough for us. You know, you messed up. Apologize. Keep it pushing. You know, you have some sort of agenda against a brother. Apologize. Keep it moving. You know, and this goes for all relationships. You know, if you, you know, you did something with the brother, you know, Salakia, you know, forgive me, but keep it pushing. You have no reason to, to, to keep yourself down. Okay? <clears throat> this is Psalms 103 and 10. He has dealt not with us after our sins, nor reward us according to our iniquities. You no. Know, he doesn't reward you according to what you did wrong. He looks at what you try to best to do right. So Yahweh Shai. Oh, me, I'm sorry. If he acknowledge, if you see, if he sees that you're doing your best to, to, to apologize and to make up for what you did, he's gonna forgive you, cause the Lord knows we're gonna fall. The Lord knows. The Lord knew we were gonna fall. Last question before I close out. <clears throat> Proverbs 24 and 16. For a just man falleth seven times and rises up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. You know, the wicked, the wicked, alright, we are, the Lord knows, you fall, get back up. You know, it could even be the same thing 
give back up. The whole point of this is to be able to hit the ground, hit the floor, hit your absolute rock bottom, and climb back up. Okay, you mess up. We all mess up. I mess up. So I mess up every day. We all mess up every day because we're not perfect. But guess what? Keep it pushing. Okay. Just like if you did something wrong to your lady, you know, oh, I'm sorry, babe. You know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Or she goes to you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. I didn't mean to do the same thing for the Lord. Salakia, my Lord. Salakia, y'all watch me on shot. I will try my best not to do it again. And keep your word to it. Try your best not to do it again. You know? Because we're not perfect. You know, but with that, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. Bless you, Moshiach. To water to the outer cross of Greenwell Stone. Glory in the satisfying. Shalom.